What's up everyone and welcome to my 17th After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a mask. Now what a mask is, is pretty much it covers up some of your uh, video so you only see a specific part of it. And uh, this is how like um, people make like fake UF UFO videos and videos of them jumping over a car when they're really only jumping in front of a green screen or something like that. So I'm going to I'm not going to show you guys how to do that stuff. I'm going to show you guys the basics behind it. The first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and drag out a movie clip to our composition panel. And uh I'll just put that right there. Now there are a lot of different ways you can make a mask, but the easiest way is to open your entire composition in your layers panel. So go ahead and to do this double click your composition name right here. And now you want to um, expand your layers panel for here until you can see the word render that little checkbox right here now what this is gonna allow you to do this layers panel is it's gonna allow you to make a mask of this layer so to do that there are a bunch of different things you can use like the pen tool I'm just gonna make a basic um, let's use an ellipse so go ahead and start and drag your ellipse now, as you can see, the first problem with this, whenever we're going to want to work with this, it's going to be kind of hard to uh, make a mask when we can't really see the entire area we're working with. So if you like it this way with black in the background, then don't do anything. But if you want to see the total area you're working with, go ahead and click Render, and this will show you everything you're working with. Now, real quick, as you can see in our final composition panel, it masked only what's in between the yellow circle and again what it does just like a uh, mask it shows you only the parts that you want to see and blocks out the other parts so now again if we played our movie the entire scene is blocking out the parts we don't want to see and only showing the parts we do want to see so those are the basics of our mask but now we I want to teach you guys how to edit the mask. Now again you edit it with mostly the selection tool but if you just start editing it, you're going to get to know if you want to try to move this mask around uh, it's going to be kind of hard. You don't use this. This is your anchor point and anytime you try to drag it on the side it's just going to move one of these little nubs. So what you have to do if you want to move this mask around is you need to highlight the mask layer mask one and press or excuse me hold down control and press T this is gonna give you a free transform box around your mask again that's hold down control on your keyboard and press T and this is gonna allow you to move the mask around your uh, scene and it's also gonna allow you to shrink and also rotate your mask so again Anytime you uh, want to use that, control T, and anytime you want to get out of it, just double click and you'll get out of it. So now you can see in our final composition, we now have a sideways egg shaped um, mask. Let me go ahead and click this and play it for you guys. And again, as we touched on before, anytime you, anytime you want to edit one of these specific notes, just uh, double click anywhere on your. Um, I don't know what's called pasteboard and hold down one of these nodes and you can edit those individually so if you want to make a bean shape mask or a banana shape or actually I don't even want to say what that shape looks like <laughs> but, uh, but uh, if you want to make this shape just hold down one of the nodes and again if you want to do free transform hold down control and press T control T there you go so those are the basics of working with a mask and how to block out some of your um, uh, scenery and this is how people make like take one portion of a scene and combine it with another portion even though they're not on the same camera or anything like that so that is how you make a mask those are the basics and those are basic editing tools but in the next tutorial we're going to be going over more on mask and it's uh, going to help you out a lot. So get comfortable with the basics of masking a scene. And the basics of the free transform tool. 
And uh, once you learn that, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So I'll see you then. Thanks.